But you know, we don't get really, um, I guess, hung up on, you know, you have to drink your beer a certain way. Um, that's more of a wine drinker's game. <laughs> <laughs> Beer is made up of four ingredients, barley, uh, water, hops, and yeast. Um, arguably now there's a lot of beers that have other ingredients in them, but generally speaking you have to have those in yeah. order to have beer. Oftentimes when we're sampling new beers or different beers, then we'll start you know, with it cold obviously, and then just kind of wait a little bit, rest it between uh, sips a little bit, and see how those flavors pop out or change. If you wait for it to warm up, you're going to get a lot better profile of those flavors uh, rather than drinking it, you know, ice cold right out of the fridge. Generally, the process sort of start to finish takes about four weeks or so, depending on the beer style. The juicy and the hazy were both brand new recipes that I was kind of experimenting with because yeah. that those styles are really, really popular right now. The thing with beer is just the emotions that it evokes. You know, it's fun to use that to reminisce or, you know, as a, a bonding moment. Honestly, I think my favorite part of the whole sort of process is really getting to share, uh, share a beer with someone, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, teach them about it. Maybe they're newer to drinking craft beer. Sort of guide them down the path of, um, different flavors and different styles and understanding what is good beer and what maybe isn't the best beer and why. It is something where, you know, if you just understand some of the background of what ingredients cause what flavors in the beer, then you can gain a much deeper appreciation. And even if you don't love a beer that you try here, you have the knowledge to go find a beer that you do love. Yeah.